If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that sub button for more amazing content. Now, let's jump straight into the video. What's good YouTube? It's your girl Bofino One bringing you guys yet another YouTube video and today I want to talk about the whole thing that has been going on with basically a 12 year old that got swatted live on YouTube. Um, while they were streaming so basically this look to cut the story short um there is a youtuber by the name i believe is like verity 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 i think is how you say his name um he was streaming you know on youtube he has a youtube channel he's supposed to be on youtube for like over a year and um he got linked in with someone by the name of scissors who is a bigger youtuber um they were playing fortnite and you know how fortnite is when you queue up and whatnot you get queued up with random people so he got lucky and he got queued up with this you know particular bigger slash known youtuber and you know they were playing quite a few games and i guess you know i guess the whole conversation probably came up somehow about how you know he was a she's a streamer you know he's been on you know youtube for a whole year making videos and blah 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 blah, blah. and so um the bigger youtuber scissors he you know he's streaming as well so he tells his viewers to go to the 12 year old stream you know he's like hey you know like you know show him some support show him some love and you know that people were donating to him and you know blah 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 and the third and basically what ends up happening is um so the kid gets off the stream right and he like i guess the next day or so maybe a couple days ends up having a whole bunch of police officers surrounding his house. He ends up getting swatted by someone that called in saying that him and his mom were basically gonna kill themselves, they were gonna commit suicide. Um, and so, you know, you guys all know how that goes. The SWAT team comes, anything that has to do with someone like going to kill somebody or maybe even kill themselves, the SWAT team comes out. So, you know, the SWAT team, they're, they're trigger happy. You know, they're ready to, to take somebody down. As we heard about, uh, late last year you know the whole call of duty thing where you know someone called in on someone else because it was like a, a dollar or something bet or they betted like a dollar or two and basically the other person uh they got mad i guess they lost the bet and then they swatted the other person and then someone ended up getting killed and to me it's just like when is this like gonna stop you know it's like i just don't understand what is like where do you get excitement or, or, or joy out of maybe potentially killing somebody? You know what I mean? Like, like that boy could and his mom could have got killed. You know, if he would have ran out the house a certain way or he would have acted a certain way, he could have got killed on the scene because we all saw, like I said, last year that happened. And this is not, not this is not only happened to him. This is a lot of other streamers that this happens to. And it's a continuous thing. It just keeps going on and on and on. You know, it's like, why do you guys find that to be funny? Why is that even something that I feel like people think is, is cool? You know, there's nothing about it that's cool. There's nothing about it that's funny. People can lose their lives. But the reason why so many people are, are constantly still doing it is because of there's no penalty. I mean, I mean, there is a penalty, but it's like a couple years, I believe. It's not really nothing... It's not like, you know, life sentence if you do it, or it's not like 20 years sentence, you know, it, it's it's like one or two years. And although one or two years, you know, jail time or whatever is a lot, but to some people who, you know, are juveniles, you know, like, I mean, they just, they don't really care about other people. For them, one or two years is not really a big deal, you know. Um, so I think that the consequences need to go up to show the severity of it, you know, because that's the reason why nothing is, is nothing is is going on, nothing's happening, you know, like like the reason why people keep doing it is because there's really no consequences behind it, you know. They caught that that guy uh, that did it late last year for the Call of Duty incident. They caught him, but I think the only reason I feel like why they caught him was because someone died there's been numerous other times where a lot of bigger streamers have been swatted on stream and they never found out who did it you know so it's like it's like people are doing this and they're getting away with it scot free you know scot free and it's like i don't know like it's just kind of like when is when is this gonna stop you know when is when is this going to end um because it makes me nervous even when i stream you got these nerds, these people out here that know how to hack into your system, find your IPS, and if they find your IPS, they can find out where you live, and, and they call the police saying, oh, so-and-so is doing, you know, you have these people, these super genius type people that know what to do, that know how to manipulate the system, um, and it's just, 
you know, and then the police, they have to take it seriously. You know, they're trying to do their jobs. You know, someone called them saying, oh, so-and-so is going to kill so-and-so. They have to take their job seriously. They can't just not do nothing about it, you know. So it's kind of like a lose-lose situation. Um, and it's just sad, you know, because it's like the people that do that stuff, I feel like, like especially in this situation, he literally got a shot off from a bigger, bigger YouTuber that was just trying to help him out. And he had to deal with that. And then he was saying um, in the article that he was saying that he might like not even do YouTube no more. Heck, that would make me back away from doing YouTube. That made me back away from, you know, trying to pursue that because you think that, you know, if someone did it once, there's a good chance they'll keep doing it. And it's and this has happened, like I said, to a lot of streamers, not once, not twice, but three times. It just keeps happening because once the person kind of gets your information, you know, it's like it's out there. They really can't, you can't do nothing about it. So. I don't know you know let me know y'all thoughts down below in the comment section about this whole thing i just think it's just it's just ridiculous and, so, and something gotta give because you're just gonna hear more and more stories about people getting hurt people you know doing this and they think it's funny and it's not there's nothing funny about that like there's nothing funny about you walking outside of your house and basically a gun is pointed to your head you know because the cops the SWAT team thinks that you're either have killed somebody or you're about to kill somebody. There's nothing cool about that, you know. So, I don't know. Those are just my thoughts. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. As always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll talk to you later. Peace, Finn Army.